that. Wisconsin lawmakers are holding a public hearing today on a bill that changes child safety seat laws. The measure would require any child two years and younger to use a rear-facing car seat. Right now, that requirement is only there for kids age one and under. Jim Savage is the director of the Cole Safety Center at American Family Children's Hospital. Thanks for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me. Maybe the best way, Jim, is, you know, the difference from one to two. Why is this so significant? Why does this law need to be changed? Well, you know, there's still a lot of development going on. So if you take a look at the child's spinal column, mm -hmm. the bones and the ligaments, um, up until age three or even beyond that, they're still very soft and they'll stretch. Mm -hmm. And so in a crash, when a child is forward facing, we can restrain the body, but we can't keep the head from moving forward. If you think about it, if you're in a crash, I brought some mm -hmm. props today. Thank you. You're riding along, yeah. what's gonna happen? You as a driver mm -hmm. are gonna move forward. Right. Your head's gonna move forward. A child's head's gonna move forward the same way, and in very severe crashes, we may see damage to the head, neck, and spine because of that. So if you look at our other child who's mm -hmm. rear facing in a crash, Newton's law of motion, everything wants to continue to move forward. The car seat will move forward, but the head, neck, and spine are being cradled by the back of the car seat. So we see much fewer injuries to the head, neck, and spine because of that. Okay, now what about the pushback from some parents? Because I know some of them, I was one of them, where at one point, it seems like the kids are eating their mm -hmm. knees. Mm -hmm. And that's why they're like, you know what, we're tired of uh, right. putting them that way because they're not happy, we're not happy. So we're mm -hmm. like, well, they turned one or they're like, maybe sure. a week before sure. they're one, we turn them around. Sure. How do you deal with that? Well, you know, sometimes I think it's perception on the parent's part because the child is much more flexible than we are. Mm -hmm. And so it's not uncomfortable for them to sit that way. Even if we have a child with long legs and they end up sitting cross-legged. Mm -hmm. Yeah not really that uncomfortable the way it would be for you and I. Um, we hear from a lot of parents that they're concerned if the feet are pushing against the back of the seat. If they're mm -hmm. in a crash, there's gonna be injury to the feet, the, the legs, mm -hmm. the ankles, the feet. We don't see those types of injuries. And if it were a crash that were severe enough where we would see those injuries, if the child had been forward facing, we would see injuries to the head, neck, and spine, which would be much more difficult for us to correct. Jim, we were saying in the commercial before, and I, I remember growing up bouncing around the back of my family mm -hmm. station wagon. I mean, mm -hmm. it seems stunning to me how far we've come in this, that we're not even arguing anymore about whether car seats are good for people. Sure. It's about how to use them. Yeah. You know, it's incredible. Um, just the advances we see every year in car seats. And, you know, um, if you take a look at European countries, Sweden requires children to be rear-facing until age four. Mm -hmm. and, oh, wow. And they've got different designs in car seats that give mm -hmm. the child a little bit more room, but we're starting to see those in the United States as well. And also, you know, we're talking about the whole safety of the seat, but it's if it's installed properly, there should not be an issue. Right? Correct, correct. Um, installation still can be difficult. Mm -hmm. There are several different designs, several different vehicle designs, which makes the, finding the perfect car seat difficult. Yeah. But, you know, we encourage parents to seek help if, if they think that their car seat is not correctly installed. And so this okay. public hearing is going to be today at the State Capitol. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be there? I will not be there. Will I have the, to be at the Safety the, Center. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you. We appreciate it. Jim Savage uh, with the Cole Safety Center at the American Family Children's Hospital. Thanks for coming in and talking thank to you. us about this this morning. Thank you.